Many people have headed up to Tomahawk for the fall ride this weekend. But the event this year in the Northwoods will be unlike any other. Our team has got you covered on the changes as health officials are expressing concerns. Let's start with News 9 Sarah McGrew and Tomahawk with a look at the precautions being taken to avoid the spread of COVID-19. Health officials say their concerns are the same as they are for any large event, especially with people coming from all around the state for fall ride. So they're hoping this weekend people will follow health precautions. Just a few weeks ago, a motorcycle event in South Dakota led to a COVID-19 outbreak. It didn't seem to be a, a, a big concern in Sturgis to most people, but there, there was some people a few people had masks. And a similar scene today in Tomahawk with not many people wearing masks for the fall ride. Wisconsin health officials are expressing concerns about the potential spread of COVID-19. If somebody is positive in that situation that it could spread and it could spread, uh, you know, to a number of different people. Uh, and plus the fact that, uh, you know, those individuals are going to return back to their own communities um, and the spread could continue even further. Similar to what happened in South Dakota, where ABC News reported eight states reported over 100 cases tied to the Sturgis event. The Marathon County Health Department said in a statement, it's not the motorcycle riding that's of concern. It's the person to person interactions that occur after the ride. So what can you do to help avoid spreading COVID-19 if you're in Tomahawk this weekend? We want people to be aware of the fact that, you know, if they're deciding to attend something like this, uh, they, they should be wearing a face covering at all times while they're attending the event, as well as uh, maintaining six feet of social distancing. And if you're sick, it's best just to sit it out this year. And if you are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms, remember to contact your local health department and stay isolated until you get any test results back. In Tomahawk, Sarah McGrew, News 9, WAOW. Thank you, Sarah. Now, this event happens every year, and the threat of losing it to this pandemic worried not just visitors, but the community. News 9's Tom Lally tells us why. For Tomahawk businesses, this event is a life force. Without it, some say they may not make it through the winter. 